Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Brianna McLean. Ishpeming and Nagani's downtown commercial districts were recently added to the National Register of Historic Places. This was the culmination of a years long application process to benefit the cities. Local 3's Tor Thorne has the story. The Michigan Economic Development Corporation was an important partner in helping Ishpeming and Nagani become recognized as part of the National Register of Historic Places. Vice President of the Ishpeming Area Historical Society, Karen Casper, says the journey for Ishpeming began following the closure of the Empire Mine in 2016. The project was part of Project Empire. We were given funding by the MEDC. Um, this was when the Empire Mine closed and there was significant unemployment and so they gave funds for revitalization of the downtown. We had a couple of um, people from a planning firm come up and, and study the city and what could be done to make it more accessible, more inviting. Benefits like historic preservation tax credits represent a potential boon for developers to utilize the downtown commercial districts. What drives business decisions when it comes to development is how much is it going to cost to do the development, but also how much is it going to cost me uh, in taxes over years. And if you can reduce that amount, uh, you find developers kind of getting excited about that opportunity. So this is really where it kind of drives uh, that opportunity for us to be able to market our buildings for development. While benefiting the economic health of the historic districts, being part of the register means buildings that exist now can be maintained and improved for years to come. As for businesses, uh, this is just another tool in our toolbox to help preserve buildings in downtown Nagani. Um, one thing we hate seeing is buildings being torn down. Unfortunately, that just becomes the fact for some of these buildings. Um, but we're working to provide tools for uh, business owners and building owners to be able to preserve and protect their buildings for future generations. Reporting in Marquette County, Torthorn, Local 3 News. There are only a few days left to nominate a remarkable woman in your life. If you go to upmatters.com, you can nominate a remarkable woman you know. Self-nominations are not allowed and you must be at least 21 to enter. You have from now until New Year's Eve to tell us about some remarkable women. Then in March, we'll highlight four women who will be considered for the Nationwide 2022 Women of the Year Award. Thanks for joining me this morning. Now for a check on your forecast with meteorologist Tom Kippen. Thanks a lot, Breeze. We look at our future weather for today. We're going to have the cloud cover, and we're also going to see another round of snow move in this afternoon and on into tonight and some of the snow. Once again, we'll add up a little bit. Temperatures for highs today across the UP will be in the 20s and 30s. Coldest temperatures out west. Your mildest temperatures closer to Lake Michigan and in the eastern UP. Weather anytime if you're on the go today, download our free WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com. We're on Facebook as well at WJMN TV. And while you're on Facebook, feel free to search and check out our 906 Weather Watchers page.